Hello everyone, my name is Shona, and today I will be your tutor, and we are going to learn about reference layers in Photoshop. So, let's get started. Okay, so I think that covers the majority of that. Um, the only way I believe you can copy canvas is if it's an artboard. You can't really do that um, typically in uh, Photoshop. So, moving on to the next one. So, canvas. This is all about the canvas. So crop and resize, animation assist. Um, this is basically the timeline. And Photoshop does have a timeline, so you can actually animate in Photoshop. So I will show you that one. Page assist isn't really a thing in Photoshop, but if you the equivalent to that um, would be the artboards. I'll also go over this. Drawing guides are basically the rulers and the grids. And this is the Thing that I want to talk about the references there is no option for reference in clip studio you do have something called a sub view which acts the same way as Procreus reference and basically it looks like this when you Im when you import a picture this is what it looks like in procreate this is your reference tab um, in clip studio it's pretty much the same thing it just it just looks like sub view <clears throat> um, but unfortunately, Photoshop doesn't have the capabilities to do this. And so the only alternative is I will show you either to use a program like this. I'm currently using um, something called PureF. And you can put your references on, on into here and draw while in Photoshop. Um, or you can do like what I showed you and have the photo that you were trying to draw. This lovely guy over here just on the canvas itself to the side, like so. Or you can open, let's see, let's go back. You can open the new one over here, like so. And you can go to arrange and tile to up vertical. And that will allow you to have this <clears throat> photo and I'm going to control zero, make it bigger. <clears throat> this photo on this side, and you click over here and you'll have the photo here. Um, and so you can use it as a reference on this side. There you go. And you can, you know, color pick and move things around as much as you need to. So. <clears throat> that is um, how you want to uh, use this one. That's just the way that the references work in Photoshop. Um, I'm not sure if they'll ever include um, a sub view or a reference tab in built into Photoshop. But for as of now, they don't have that capability at the moment. So don't worry if you can't find that. And like I said, you can also use um, Pure F, which is like it will be kind of like on top like this and I can draw while this is like to the side over here. So a lot of artists tend to use this if they don't, if they're using Photoshop, this is what they'll use a third party um, software for that. So that is uh, how you get around the references tab. Okay. I hope you could follow along. The next topic will be about cropping the timeline and artboards in Photoshop. I hope it helps. See you on the next one. Bye.